Today, finally, we're launching GPT-5. GPT-5 is a major upgrade over GPT-4 and a significant step along our path to AGI. GPT-5 has officially landed, and it's bringing some of the most jaw-dropping upgrades we've ever seen in ChatGPT. From a single unified brain that works with text, images, voice, and even live video at the same time, to a coding engine that can spin up complex apps on demand. This release will change the way you use AI every single day. It's quicker, sharper, and far more precise, with brand new tools, improved reasoning, and personalization that genuinely remembers what matters to you. Here's why you'll want to try it the moment it's in your hands. For starters, GPT-5 is now the all-in-one flagship. Before, you had to switch between separate models, one for speed, another for reasoning, another for visuals. Now, GPT-5 automatically chooses the best sub-brain for your request using dynamic routing. Inside, there are actually two main modes, GPT-5 Main, tuned for lightning-fast responses, and GPT-5 Thinking, built for deep, complex problem-solving. You don't have to pick, it decides on the fly. It also comes in three sizes, Standard, Mini, and Nano. Standard is the powerhouse with the highest reasoning ability and biggest memory. Mini strikes a balance for everyday workloads, Nano is the ultralight version for simple, cost-friendly tasks. If you hit usage limits, GPT-5 can even switch you to Mini or Nano automatically so you can keep going without downtime. And these smaller versions are no slouch. Both outperform GPT-3.5. Performance-wise, GPT-5 is a leap forward. OpenAI says, hallucinations, those made-up facts AI sometimes invents, are down by up to 78% in reasoning mode. Plus, the context window has exploded. 256,000 tokens in ChatGPT, up to 400,000 via API. That's about 200,000 words. You can feed it a full novel, massive code base, or giant research file, and it'll keep track without losing the plot. One of the biggest new headlines? multimodal abilities, text, images, voice, and now live video, all in one conversation, no more swapping tools for visual analysis or voice interaction. In the launch demo, GPT-5 built a French website with perfect pronunciation, analyzed images you upload, and even interacted with a live camera feed, like guiding you step-by-step -step while fixing a bike. It can't create videos yet, that's still Sora's domain but it can watch a live feed and coach you in real time. Voice mode itself is dramatically better, adapting to your tone and pace, feeling more human, and responding faster. Pro users also get higher limits and video screen share capability. And yes, voice now works in custom GPTS, which users have been requesting since day one. For developers, this release is a gift. It's clearly aimed at rivals like Anthropic's Claude, which many coders swear by. During the keynote, OpenAI brought on companies like Cursor, Vercel, and Windsurf to show off GPT-5's coding skills. In one demo, it pumped out over 400 lines of code in two minutes to build a Bernoulli effect simulation from scratch. It's not just about spitting out code. It can run multi-turn agents in the background, squash bugs, and assemble entire software projects from one prompt. Sam Altman called it software on demand, and honestly, that's exactly what it feels like. It's also more personal. You can pick from four optional personalities, cynic, robot, listener, and nerd, designed partly to stop the yes-man behavior. Its memory is massively improved, letting it recall preferences, facts, and goals across sessions, even days later. You could set a long-term target, like prepping for an exam or tracking fitness progress, and it will actively help you get there. Soon, it'll link directly with Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Contacts, automatically pulling in relevant info when needed. Once set, it's seamless. At launch, pro users get it first. Even small touches, like custom chat colors to keep projects organized, show they're focusing on quality of life improvements. Safety-wise, GPT-5. Thinking is flagged high risk for advanced biochemical knowledge, though it hasn't crossed OpenAI's danger threshold. Extra safeguards, filters, human review, 
and restricted access apply. It's tougher to jailbreak than past models, though multi-step attacks can still work. Hallucinations are rarer, but not gone. Health advice is safer and more accurate, though it's still not a doctor. Cybersecurity risks remain low unless paired with skilled humans. Pricing stays the same for ChatGPT subscriptions. Plus at $20 per month, Pro at $200. API costs are competitive, $125 per million input tokens and $10 per million output for standard with Mini and Nano much cheaper. The smaller versions make high-end AI affordable for large-scale use. And the real-world feel? Altman says switching back from GPT-5 to an older model is like going from a retina display to low res. Once you've seen it, you can't unsee it. Early testers say it's more intuitive, easier to guide, and has more personality. It's still not true, AGI, but for anyone using AI daily, this is a major leap. Even free-tier users get the advanced reasoning model and multimodal chat, dropping to mini instead of locking out when limits hit. For deep research, it can pull from multiple sources, combine the data, and even create visuals, games, or quizzes to explain it. Between the unified multimodal setup, huge context window, advanced coding, live video guidance, integrations, and long-term memory, GPT-5 is breaking new ground. Yes, there are still gaps. No direct video generation yet, some safety limits, privacy questions. But the fact Microsoft integrated it into Copilot and GitHub on day one says everything. If you've been dabbling in AI, this makes it far easier to do more in one place. If you're a coder, analyst, or creator, it'll save you endless tool switching. And with Mini and Nano, running it at scale is finally affordable.